What we are looking at now is substituting into algebraic expressions. So we may have already seen examples of what an algebraic expression looks like, something like 3x plus 2, 4x plus 5, um, or 3r minus 1. All of these examples of algebraic expressions, right? So what we want to do now is we want to evaluate these expressions um, if we substitute into them uh, given a specific value. So I'm going to use a very, spec a very, very simple example. The example is calculate the value of 3m plus 6 if you are given if m is equal to 2. Well, okay, that's quite simple. This means that I need to substitute, I need to replace the m value with the given value of, of 2 into that m. So that's going to change my equation as follows. It will become 3, the m changes to 2, plus 6. Now one of the things that you must notice, and take a note, write this down, if, especially if these, this work is new to you, is that 3m can also be written as 3 dot m, and it can also be written as 3 times m. This means 3 multiplied by m, right? If I write 3r, it's exactly the same as 3 dot r, which is the same as 3 multiplied by little r. Okay, so let's evaluate this expression over here. If I were to evaluate this, I'm going to say that that is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 plus 6, right? And according to bod mass, I must follow my order of operations. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 6, that gives me a total of 12. Okay, so take down the example, make sure that you learn actively, that you write, that you pause, play, rewind, and work with me as well. Okay, so let's use another example. Okay, 3x plus 2. I'm going to use this example over here. 3x plus 2. Evaluate the expression 3x plus 2 if you are given that x must equal to negative 2. So I'm going to substitute in 3 multiplied by negative 2 plus 2, right? And this is quite simple. We have to recap our laws of multiplying and dividing integers, so I'll say that that is equal to 3 multiplied by, uh, let's just, oops, wrong slide, 3 multiplied by, okay, there's no undo button, okay, so let me just erase that quickly, 3 multiplied by negative 2, plus 2, right? And so I've got to do this multiplication first because multiplication always comes before addition. Um, and 3 times 2 is my... 3 times... A negative times a positive is negative, And 3 times 2 is equal to 6, plus 2. So minus 6 plus 2 gives me a solution of negative 4. Okay. So let's look at a few more examples. If we are given the following, that a is equal to 2, and b is equal to 5, and c is equal to 7, evaluate the following expressions, right? In other words, determine its value. Give it a numerical value. I'm going to write down these expressions. The first expression is 3b. The second expression is 6a. The third expression is 5a plus 7. Right? And then I'm going to give you another one over here. Let's make d 3a plus 2b. And let's make c over... Ah, sorry, that should be e. Let's make e over there 9a minus 2b. Okay. And we're going to work at the solutions of each of these given the values above, right? So a equals 2, b equals 5, and c equals 7. Well, this one's quite simple. This just says I must take 3, and I must substitute the value of b that was given, which was 5 in there. So 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. Remember, there are alternate notations for this part of here. Okay, 6a, that is just simply 6 multiplied by the value of a, and the value of a is 2. So that's going to give me 6 times 2, which is 12. 
And this one over here, I'm going to say 5 multiplied by the value of a, which is 2 um, plus 7. And I'll do the multiplication first. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 7 is 17. And that's going to equal to 17. Okay, 3a plus 2b. So that's equal to 3 multiplied by 2 plus 2 multiplied by the value of b, which is 5. And I'm going to evaluate each of these parts. The first part over here, which I'm going to underline in black, is equal to 3 multiplied by 2, which is 6, plus 2 multiplied by 5, which is equal to which is equal to 10. Okay. So as you can see, the 3 times 2, this, uh, this part of year, and this part of year is equivalent. And if I look at this part over here, 2 times 5, and that part over there, that's equivalent. So that's going to give me a final answer of 16. Okay. So you can try the last one on your own. Try substituting in the values. Pause the video now and then press play to check the answer. Did you give this one a go? Well, okay, if you take 2, 9 times 2 is going to be 18, minus 2 times 5, 2 times 5 is 10, so that's going to be 18 minus 10. Your final answer after substituting in this equation, uh, sorry, not equation, but expression, will be a value of 8. Okay.